Hello and welcome to Arkansas Style. I am your host, Nicole Neiman. We are rolling along right through the week. I cannot believe it's already Wednesday, but you know what that means? It's hump day happy hour. We're taking you over to Petite and Keat. We have some movie star themed drinks lined up today. One is called the Hepburn, named after Audrey Hepburn. It would even make Holly go lightly blush. Keeping with the star studded theme today on the bucket list, we head back down to the hot springs to the ho the waters hotel. Last week we were at their rooftop bar, but today we try out their restaurant, the Avenue. Stay tuned for that. And even the stars in paradise experience heartbreak sometimes. Our relationship counselor Charlie Simpson will join us. As usual, he'll be talking about a serious topic today. It's how to deal in, with an unhappy ending, why he says you shouldn't run from your emotions. Charlie will be here to help us with all the A-listers, what we all want to be again. But before all of that, we are going to get to get to some good vibes. It may not be a better place for that than Goodwill of Arkansas. They have a new Excel Center that is a treasure trove of possibilities. You won't believe the miracles they make for those in need. Let's check it out. We're at Goodwill Industries of Arkansas, this massive property. But you know what's inside? The Excel Center. You want to know what it is? Well, we're going to meet a few people. We're going to learn about the services. Let's go inside. Allow me to introduce you to Melvin Williams. He is the recruitment and retention specialist here at the Excel Center. Melvin, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. And as the retention and recruitment expert, you know, what are your responsibilities? So my responsibilities are to go out and recruit, tell people about what it is we do here at the Excel Center, and then once they get here, uh, to work closely with coaches, because everyone gets a life coach, uh, to make sure we retain them and that uh, we help them navigate the journey here so that they can graduate and get the diploma. I'm now joined by Becky Lockett, who is the lead life coach and registrar here at the Excel Center. Becky, what is the Excel Center exactly? Well, the Excel Center is a high school for adults. We are not a GED program. Students can come here ages 19 or older and they can come and get their actual high school diploma. It's the same as if they were going to Central High School or anywhere else here in the state, but it's an opportunity that was um, created for these students 19 and older to do that. And you're not just an expert here in your field, you're also a success story. Tell me a little bit about your journey. Uh, so I'm a 2019 graduate of the Excel Center, and I actually came here in 2017 and uh, this, this changed my life to the point to where um, after I was done, I came back to, to say thank you uh, to the Excel Center uh, for, for being here and being able to take advantage of this program. And uh, shortly after, uh, I think I spoke to uh, Senator Tom Cotton and uh, they offered me a job here. That's incredible. How did you learn about the Excel Center? So I actually, uh, can I tell this? I actually kind of was uh, set up a little bit. So uh, my wife, what she did was she seen it online and she done some research and uh, she told me to come down and, uh, and look for a job. And so she already knew this was a high school. And uh, she kind of tricked me a little bit, made me think it was my idea. <laughs> and, uh, and, and as far as that, me and my wife's plan was she would be the one who went to school and worked and got an education. And I would be the one who worked a job. That was our plan. Uh, until that didn't work for us. And so uh, my wife actually teaches high school now. But uh, during that time, um, I was able to come here and uh, go to school. And when I came here looking for a job, I actually walked into the Excel Center uh, when it was down on the other end of the Goodwill building. And how do they apply? Okay, the easiest way for them to apply is to go to our website, which is goodwillar.org slash excel. And they just go on there, fill out a quick um, pre-registration, just a little information for them. And then from there, Melvin and I, or I will probably um, call them back, let them know, um, hey, we're so glad that you showed interest. We will set them up for an IXL, which is our orientation for new students. And then we'll take the ball rolling from there and they'll meet with their life coach, get their transcripts, do all those things that we need to, to do to get them set up for the next term. So we're talking to people who are really adults looking to get their high school diplomas. 
Um, Becky, from your experience, what does it mean to these students when they graduate? It's everything. It's what we do every day. We're getting ready to come up on our graduation for June here on June uh, the 22nd, and we'll be graduating our largest class so far of 24 students, and we're just really excited about that. But um, I think any of those that you talk to would tell you that it's so much more than just their diploma. Uh, we offer them so many wraparound services here at Goodwill, not only life coaching and removal of barriers here while they're going through this journey, but there's so many other programs here at Goodwill, like our academy, that we really stress to our students that we want them to graduate not only with a diploma, but with an industry-recognized credential. And so there's so many opportunities for them here, and to me, it's just the beginning. I mean, where you stand from today, I mean, can you really believe it? What a miracle, uh, your life changing for you. Yeah, it's just, it's changed my uh, my whole household. The whole dynamic of, of me being a dad who's now uh, going to school and my three sons watching this and them knowing the importance of, not just the importance, but the value of an education and how it could help you meet opportunities. Well, Melvin, thanks for sharing your story and for what you continue to do and giving back here at the Excel Center. We're standing in front of a wall of graduates. I would call this a wall of inspiration and hope. Melvin, thanks for joining me. It was nice yes, to meet you. You too. All right, you ready for the mic drop moment? What's it cost? Free, completely free. There's nothing that you're gonna pay for here. In fact, the reason it's that way is because of donations. It's because of what your viewers do by bringing in all of your stuff that you consider maybe junk and, and other people find as treasures. All of that almost completely funds what we offer here to the state of Arkansas. And so please go out, your donations mean everything. It means changing lives. There's still more. It's not just the Excel Center as far as services are concerned. What other kinds of services do you offer here? Well, at Goodwill, we offer a lot, but here in the building, we try to do everything that we can. Again, I said we're dealing with adults, so they've got lives. So we offer free child care assistance. That means if you're a student here, they can, you can bring your child with you. To, while you're in class and they can have free child care in our beautiful drop-in center. And we offer transportation assistance. We offer life coaching. Every one of our students is assigned a life coach to help them navigate, not just through those academic barriers, but through any kind of personal barriers. Because you know, if you have food insecurities, if you're worried about things that are going on outside of here, it becomes an academic barrier and they can't do what they need to do in the classroom. So that coach is there to walk with you all along the way. Um, we also do a four-day work um, school week, Monday through Thursday. Fridays, you can come in for individualized tutoring. And so we try to just do everything that we can to make it count. I'm shaking my head <laughs> because I just, I, I just am overwhelmed. I'm almost speechless to think about what you do here and the opportunities that you're providing people mm -hmm. and giving them hope and giving them a lease on life. I'm Becky, thank you for what you're doing thank and you everybody so here. It's really incredible. Thank you. The Excel Center here at Goodwill Industries of Arkansas is really a miracle on earth. It gives hope and opportunity for high school graduates to come and enjoy. Their open enrollment is currently underway for the next term starting July 24th, ages 19 to whatever. Let's keep those good vibes going. It's hump day happy hour where the see and be seen can be found at the bar at Petite and Keat. The drinks, the service, and the atmosphere is like a Hollywood red carpet event every day. Stick around, you're watching Arkansas Style. Welcome back to Arkansas Style. It's Wednesday hump day and it's time for happy hour. Get ready because it's lights, camera, action at the bar at Petite and Keat. Check it out. This segment is brought to you by Petite and Keat.
truly believe that any great restaurant has equally as great of a bar, and Petit and Keith's is one of the best. Not only for the atmosphere and the ambiance, but of course for the cocktails. Kaylee is behind the bar today, whipping us up something special. Hey, girl. Hey, how okay, are you? All right, all right. Well, I'm going to be better after we <laughs> I got you. watch you work. What are we going to make? I'm going to make you a Bantha Milk, which is a Star Wars inspired cocktail. It's delicious, refreshing, a great patio sipper. Right. So, and then I also have a Hepburn, which is inspired by our girl Audrey Hepburn. It's a nice, classic, more refreshing. Oh, all well. right, two thematic cocktails. Yes. All right, Star Wars. I'm down. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, I got you, Grom. <laughs> so, you know, give me superpowers. You know, it's whatever you want to make of it. But it's just, it's very nice. It's my take on a. Coconut margarita, so just natural. You had me a coconut yes, margarita. I got you. So it's coconut milk, but we infuse our coconut milk with agave nectar as well. Mm -hmm. So it's just the perfectly balanced, <gasps> Look at that. creamy, Gorgeous. I know. Yes. Little splash of blue for the color. Boop. And you can't forget the tequila. You can use any tequila you like, but our gold is just, it's gold, you know? You can't yeah, go wrong. You know, that's what I like. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Were we friends in another life? I think so. <laughs> in our cute little mug. Okay. Just margaritas are perfect for summer. And this yeah. one. Tequila and I, we get along well. Too. Oh, same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fun blue color. You know, <laughs> I would love to. Holy cow, it's blue. Yes, it okay, is. Okay, it's exciting. It's nice, it's fun, it's an eye catcher for sure, but it's also delicious. So win win. Can't go wrong, right? Okay. Add some ice. And then I like to add a little bit of coconut flakes just on the edges. As that well as a little is straw. Gorgeous. For you, madame. And a nice serving size, too. Yes, I know, with the little handle. <laughs> love it. <laughs> little handle. My kids will definitely believe I'm just drinking. Cool. Oh, yeah, right? Mm -hmm, Not mm -hmm. alcoholic. I got you. Oh, wow. Hold the phone on this one. I know, because it's not too heavy on the alcohol taste, but packs a punch. It's very good. I love the coconut milk in here. Yay! It is not too sweet, which is, I'm not a big sweet fan. Yes, fan. that's, yeah, I wanted to steer oh. clear of the overly sweet cocktails, but just nice patio sipper. Enjoy it with some fries. A burger, maybe. <laughs> Girl, yay! This is a fun free game. Yes, I okay, know, right? right. Mm -hmm. Save some for later. I got you. <laughs> and then my second cocktail is an Audrey and Hepburn inspired cocktail. I don't even know if Audrey Hepburn. Yes, is. breakfast at Tiffany's. Girl, <laughs> we you will. Holly we'll Golightly is my alter ego. Stop. Yes. Oh, I want to be her. Me too, kind of. <laughs> so the Hepburn consists of a little bit of lemon juice. As well as Pisco, are you, you know, are you familiar with Pisco? Pisco? So it's a Ch Chilean liqueur, and also Peru, and it's kind of like an unfiltered brandy. Unfiltered, wow. unaged brandy. Okay. Some raspberry, a little bit more raspberry. Boop. <laughs> and the so Pisco cute. pairs excellent with chocolate, also an inspiration from like a Ghirardelli chocolate bar with raspberry. Girl. Wow, my mouth is so, ready to water. This so delicious. Little essence of chocolate bitters. A little bit of simple. Boop. And served in a flute. Oh my fancy. Goodness. Thank you. Watch my pearl. <laughs> but wait, there's more. No. Yes. Uh, so we'll add this to the flute. Whee. Oh, she's pink. Okay. I know. And. Mm. Bubbles. No. Rose. Yes. Gives it that oh. nice little carbonation. Yes. Ugh. And I top it with, you can either do a cherry or a raspberry, but since we have raspberry in there, it's just delicious. So I made this for you. Honey. Yes. I hate to drink alone, I know, it's so pretty. But I'll join you after this. Yeah. I'll join you. Oh, this is a total girl. <laughs> Yay! Oh. And that's a perfect patio sipper too. I mean, just chilling with your girlfriend, drinking Thank that. Up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted to make these for you, and I hope you enjoy. Oh, girl, you got me. I mean, I you, I'm, I'm I'm a little speechless, which is unusual. 
and it's not because of the booze yet. <laughs> uh, these are so Good. unique and different, super delightful. What an occasion. You know, when you come out and you're at the bar, I mean, you want to you wanna feel like a party. You want to yes. feel connected. Um, you know, you want a nice drink, but this is something uh, that you can't find anywhere else. Well done. Only here at Only. Petite and Kate. Uh -huh. I got you guys. A little Star Wars. Come on through. A little Audrey for all of our movie lovers. Well, thanks for treating me to this. Absolutely. Let's just come check them out here at Petite and Kate. I'll Cheers. <laughs> From special destinations to special events, we have you covered today. The Cannabis and Wellness Expo is coming out of town. We'll be uh, talking to some professionals who will help us understand medical marijuana and what we can learn at the expo. Stay with us, you're watching Arkansas Style. You're watching Arkansas Style on KARK. Welcome back. We like to learn about the health and wellness trends that can help us with our ailments. And this has been a hot topic across the country for several years, medical marijuana. And joining us in studio to talk about it all. We have Aaron Gray with Healing Hemp of Arkansas and Dr. Brian Nickel with Interventional Pain Consultants and of course, Donovan Suit, the man behind the expo. <laughs> oh, hi, I didn't see you there. <laughs> yeah, we're here to promote our expo, which is Saturday, June 24th at the Simmons Bank Arena. Uh, it starts at 10 a.m. and goes until 4.20 and we have an after party, of course, at 4.20 till question mark. You can <laughs> attend at uh, four quarter bar. And we're really, really lucky to have doctors on site and over 30 vendors telling us about their products. And we have a couple here today. I'm going to hand this mic off to the good doctor. Okay. <laughs> Terrific. Uh, so, I mean, all jokes aside, really and truly, uh, what you do is to help people with their ailments through the use of cannabis, CBD, uh, those kinds of products. So, Dr. Nickel, explain to me a little bit about what you do. Well, you know, one thing that cannabis truly is a medicine, all the jokes aside, everybody talks about the hippies getting high with it and all of that. Uh, cannabis is used as medication for millennia by human beings. First medical cannabis use is documented at 2700 BC. So as human beings, we've got a very, very long history with the ancient medication. As more and more research has been done recently, we've learned exactly how cannabis can be used to address various medical symptoms on patients and even the underlying diseases. And by becoming very educated yourself on the proper use of medication, of cannabis as medication, you can go from just a little bit of improvement that symptoms that everybody seems to get using any cannabis whatsoever into a major improvement in the quality of your life. I mean, really important. I mean, you're hearing it from a doctor right here about a medicine that can be used to help treat your pain, your ailments, um, your appetite, things like that, right? Certainly. So, Erin, you have a business that specializes in all of these kinds of things. Tell me a little bit about what you do. Yes, yeah, so at Healing Hemp, we're actually a hemp CBD um, specialty store, uh, and we offer uh, many different delivery methods for the CBD, um, which the majority of our products are going to be under 0.3% THC, according to the Farm Bill. So we've got um, topicals and gummies and tinctures. Um, we also have quite a few uh, edibles. We have some teas and chocolates, and then we actually have a very large pet product line. Uh, so not only are CBD and cannabis, well, CBD for sure, um, beneficial to humans, our pets actually get relief also. It helps with them with anxiety, uh, inflammation. So we carry that type product also. And then we have some fabulous hemp made uh, products. We've got some uh, bags, some hats, and some clothing that we'll have available at the um, expo. Very cute. All right, doctor, back to you. Uh, tell me the difference between CBD and THC so that people understand the difference between the medicine uh, prop medicinal properties and the getting high properties. Well, both of them do have medical properties. Both are important depending on exactly what symptoms you're trying to address. 
THC is what most people think of when they think of marijuana or cannabis. That's the component that does result in euphoric effects, makes you high. CBD uh, does not have any euphoric effects. It is probably the most useful cannabinoid in the cannabis plant. It has anti-anxiety properties, anti-inflammatory properties, modulates the immune system, and has its own antiviral, antifungal, and antimicrobial effects to it. Uh, again, the, the trick to getting the best response of cannabis is using the right mix of all of this. THC alone is not going to be effective for most patients, neither is CBD for a lot of them. It's getting the right combination of things in the right uh, delivery methods that is going to allow people to really maximize their symptom improvement and minimize the side effects. Okay, and uh, in the state of Arkansas, where is it that we need to have a license to shop for these products and come see a doctor? Yes, uh, you do have to be certified as having a qualifying condition in the state of Arkansas. Uh, we do have a long list of them that's available uh, online very easily for people to look at. If you have a qualifying condition, a physician has to certify you as having that to be certified to purchase cannabis in the state of Arkansas. Once you are certified, that allows access to dispensaries, and that's really where the learning process has to happen, where patients should educate themselves on the proper use of this. Okay, and so when we come to Aaron's shop, for example, uh, what are we able to buy? Uh, Aaron, t tell me a little bit about um, if I'm shopping at your store, what am I, what am I looking at? Right, so um, again, for us to have a, carry our products legal under the 2018 Farm Bill, our products actually all have less than 0.3% THC. Um, so you're going to also be able to get some, like I said, some topical. So we're talking about localized pain. Um, we've got some tinctures that are going to be absorbed through the bloodstream. Um, and again, as Dr. Nichols said, you're going to be addressing uh, anxiety. We address sleep products. You know, some of our sleep products are big bestsellers. Um, inflammation. Again, we also have our pet products. So not only are we going to help out, um, you know, the people that come in for them, then, then we can also address that for their pets as well. Okay, if we can bring up on the screen uh, the event details, because this is really important. I want you to check this out. If you have any curiosity about this whatsoever, um, come check out the Expo. It's at the Simmons Bank Arena, 10 a.m. to 420. Some of you will get that reference. Um, at the Cannabis Wellness Expo, it's Saturday, June 24th. Dr. Aaron, thank you both for being here Absolutely. and teaching us thank a little bit more about these us. important and valuable yeah. um, products. Thank, thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Still ahead, we head back down to Hot Springs to the Waters Hotel for the bucket list. Last week, we showed you the rooftop bar, but today we are trying out the restaurant, The Avenue. Stick around, you're watching Arkansas Style. We head back down to Hot Springs to the Waters Hotel for the bucket list. Last week we showed you the rooftop bar, but today we try out their restaurant, The Avenue. Check it out. All right, Nicole, it's another bucket list. We're talking about hotels with fabulous restaurants, and I had to bring you to the waters at the Avenue. Yeah, I mean, we're right on the Avenue, stopping traffic. This is gonna be a great place to check out. Hot Springs, it's what it's all about. This is more fine dining. We've got late night kind of bar atmosphere. Great people watching, I can't wait for you to see. Steaks, and this chef is on point. All right, Nicole, the chef has hooked us up for sure. Yeah, talk about fine dining. It looks so beautiful. And the aroma coming off the table is such a presence. Yeah, and an incredible variety that we're going to try. Right, so this is like incredible. So this is, what do you call it? It's osabuco. Osabuco. And this pork. is a pork osabuco. So you can have veal or lamb, lamb or right. this. Um, all I can tell you, 14 hours roasted, that thing is going to be butter. In that, in that in the grits. Or oh, gr grits, yeah. my goodness, I cannot wait. So we have salmon and, and with sauces and the corn. Then we have some more of the shrimp that the chef has made. And that has um, 
They said, is it pork in it? They said pork. Oh, oh pork belly, yes. Yeah, pork belly in there. Mm -hmm. And then what do we have over there? Oh, baby lollipop uh, lamb chops, oh. which I have not had in forever. That's going to be fun to try. Yes, for sure. And then let's start with this crab cake. Look at the sauces and how it's just so beautiful. The presentation here is spectacular. Ooh, I tell you, the true sign of a good crab cake is lots of lump crab. Mm -hmm. And this one does not disappoint. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, sweet. Oh my goodness. Sweet crab. Oh, uh, I'm crab. going in for like one more bite. The sauce on okay, the bottom. Well, while you do that, <laughs> look what drink made in front of me again. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> the Shirley Temple who grew up into Marilyn Monroe. Ooh, this is so good. Except for this one has jewel on it. Mm-hmm. That is so cute. Yeah, I know. The bartenders at the Waters Hotel are on point. This is just a fun place to hang out and have Ooh. just a happy hour. So this good. This is so good. That vanilla vodka. Homemade grenadine. Yeah. So I have a French 75. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gin. Mm -hmm. Gin and champagne. Delicious. <gasps> Look at the bottom of your glass. It's, it's like sparkling. sparkling. Woo! I'm full of sparkle. Okay. For sure. Okay, what do you want to dive into next? You want to do the, the, the lollipop lamb? lamb chops? Let's do it. Look at how beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is such a special occasion meal for me. Look, the vegetables, and, and you're definitely not going to be making this up on a Thursday night. That's what I mean, right? Right, exactly. exactly. You love that when you go yeah. in. Yep. And then this mushroom, it looks delicious. Incredible gravy on a bed of mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts. Are you cutting me a bite? Okay, mama. I get you. Oh, so, the, so good. So, about how long do you think this takes to make? Like, well, it doesn't take any time at all, but. You know, finding a really delicious piece of lamb is actually mm -hmm. kind of hard. Wait till you try that sauce sauce. It's like a red wine reduction sauce. Pairs beautifully with the lamb. So tender. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. Doesn't that make you happy when you eat something it like does. that? And again, people ask me about this show and why I love it so much. And it's, I would never come in here and order that for a typical entree. And I like you like to get stuff that you wouldn't cook, mm -hmm. but I would never order that. And now I love it. Now I want some more of it. Yeah. It's so delicious. Yep. All right, so let's go in for these shrimp. Okay. They know how to do shrimp Look here. Look at that in a cream sauce, which is a little mm -hmm. unusual. You know, so usually we, you see shrimp paired with, mm -hmm. you know, a, a red sauce. Look uh, at this sauce, this cream mm -hmm. sauce. Look, that looks delicious. I just have to taste the sauce. Mm. Do you like pork belly? Mm -hmm. Oh do my you? gosh. Okay. Mm. I'll try the shrimp, you try the pork belly. The sauce is divine. Oh, these shrimp are just a meal in and of itself. It's just falling apart. You gonna go see the movie Little Mermaid? Speaking of shrimp, <laughs> you're a Little Mermaid. I think I think I, I've been, I buy I buy all the all the movies on my TV at home where I can be real comfortable. We'll order some shrimp and watch Little Mermaid. Okay, girlfriend, let's continue so, on with the seafood theme. So you seafood, you eat it. So <laughs> one of the girls that works here, she said this is her favorite entree. It's paired in this sauce with these veggies. I've got, I see spinach and corn. It is cooked to perfection. Light, flaky. Oh my goodness. Do you oh. like to eat the skin on the outside of fish? I, I do. You do? Okay, do. well this is it. I mean, look at how look beautifully at, that it is, is prepared. The presentation here is spectacular. Mm. That's good. Yep. Another delicious entree. Oh my gosh, look at that. I have another drink in front of me. How'd that happen? <laughs> okay, look at I'm this. I'm a little thirsty. <laughs> look at this one, the bartender. The Waters Melon Crawl. Oh, oh they have a little fun for the Waters Hotel. That. Pink and green, how cute. Okay, okay this, this is delish. Good mm. thing there's a little tiny straw. Mm. The drinks here are so fun. Uh-huh, agreed. Okay, so we gotta get this big All right. Here it is. Okay. How long did that take to cook? 14 hours. 14 hours. Yes, of nothing but love. Look at how beautiful. <gasps> look at, look, oh at, look at that beauty. Mm, give look me at that beauty. Mm -mm. Uh uh, give me some. <laughs> Cut me off some. Gosh, you're very needy today, baby. What's going on? You need a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> this grit under here is a look how it just pulls apart. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Oh, mama. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Here you go. That is delicious. I'm washing it down with that. <laughs> I'm getting fed and everything. <laughs> I want some sparkles. Excuse my reach. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That is some good stuff. Mm -hmm. they, they make deep, but these. So, do you think this is a grit under here? Ooh. I don't know, grit or polenta? Mm -hmm. What is it? 
with a polenta. Is it? Yeah. Mm, I can taste the cheese in it too. Okay. It's, it's delicious. delicious. I mean, everything here is spectacular. Agreed. So what do you think on the table is your favorite? Girl, I mean, I really do. I mean, this has been like a staycation occasion. Mm -hmm. All of these um, entrees would not disappoint. Mm -hmm. uh, this has definitely been my favorite experience at the Waters. The new chef here is spectacular. All the bartenders are on point. I just love the atmosphere. I like the customer service when you come in here. And did you know this used to be like an office building with the doctor's offices that come in here and now you get to have the spectacular hotel that they've redone and with this great view of Central Avenue. I'll tell you my medicine, here we go. Uh -huh. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. <laughs> Still ahead, Gail Davis with the Lupins Foundation of Arkansas is in studio. There's a jazz brunch coming up that she wants to talk about and will introduce you to a special guest, a true warrior. She's brought with her wave ladies. You're on TV. Stick around. You're watching Arkansas Style. You're watching Arkansas Style on KARK. Welcome back. The Lupus Foundation of Arkansas is a great organization that does some amazing work. Co-chair of the foundation, Gail Davis, joins us now along with Anita Boone, who is a lupus warrior. Gail, let's start with you for our viewers who may not be familiar with what uh, does the Lupus Foundation of Arkansas do? What we do is we're trying to bring awareness to the whole state of Arkansas about what lupus is, how it's of impacting our communities, and that there's no cure. There, there is no cure for lupus. But we're trying to spread the word, because some people say, I've heard of the word of lupus, but I don't know what it is. Mm. It's an autoimmune disease that attacks where the body attacks itself. Mm. It attacks the good and bad cells, and it affects your tissues, your organs, your brain, just just everything. Mm. And uh, so that's what we're doing. We, so we're trying to educate the public. We're trying to bring awareness. We're advocating for um, support for the uh, lupus war. We call them lupus warriors. And we're trying to raise funds to try to help find a cure for mm. lupus. Well, sitting next to you is one of your warriors, Anita. Yeah. Anita, Hi. you are uh, walking the walk, talking the talk. You look amazing, thank girl. You, so and you. thank you for thank being you. here. Thank you for having um, me. But tell us about your journey. My journey is being a African American female when lupus is actually attacks more women between the age of 15 and 45. Predominantly, more Black women tend to get this illness and this disease, but it also attacks men too. So we have men warriors also. But with me being 54 now and being diagnosed with 19 fighting this from 12 to 19, not knowing what I had, your life changes. It's an altered change to your life. You do not live the same way anymore. All the things you think you can do, all the plans you make, you can't make them like that anymore. You literally have to set out boundaries and times and space of when you get ready to do something, from getting up in the morning to going to bed at night. Sleep is a, it's a present wrapped up real good and sometimes we don't get a lot of sleep. We get a lot of rest, but not a lot of sleep. The body is being attacked by its own immune system every single second of the day. Mm -hmm. The pain is where you have pain so much that you just get used to that pain until the doctor says, well, this is hurting. I'm like, yeah, tell me something new. But living an everyday life is getting up in the morning, getting yourself together, trying to manage yourself, trying to manage others. It's very hard, your life changes. And I've decided as a warrior that lupus would not take me out, that it's gonna have to come and join my side of the world with Christ and live with me, which means I make lupus rules. But because it is on immune deficiency and my body is fighting against it, sometimes I have to go by lupus rules. And that wakes me up more that as I get older, this illness is steady attacking my body. There is no cure. Mm -hmm. I take a treatment once a month, an infusion. I'm on so much medicine. It goes up, it goes down. Um, but it's manageable with the right medications. Um, with the correct doctors, uh, and I have a great, great staff of good doctors from all over. Well, girl, your strength and spirit, I tell you, is you. inspiring. Gail, this is where you come in. You organize events to help raise awareness and, of course, raise funds. You're yes. hosting a 
Jazz Brunch? Yes. All right, tell me about that. This is a Lupus Jazz Brunch Buffet. Mm -hmm. So we will have a variety of foods, uh, not just breakfast type foods, but also lunch type uh, foods. The event is gonna be Saturday, July the 8th at the uh, Presidential Legacy of Life Center, which is on 812 Reservoir Road. Now people say, I've never heard of that, where is that? If you've ever bowled at the Professor Bowl, if you know, if you know where the Professor Bowl is on Reservoir, mm -hmm. it shares the parking lot with the Professor Bowl. Okay. And we're gonna have purple balloons out around the columns to identify where this is. And what are we looking at on the screen there? You're looking at our uh, featured guest will be Jose Holloway Experiment. Mm -hmm. He is uh, not only a jazz trumpeter, but he is, well, actually he's over there to the right, you know, getting his groove on, but he is the band director for the New Southwest High School. Okay. But he has opened for notable uh, national known artists such as Kirk Whalum, uh, gospel artist Ty Tribbett and Diedrich Hatton, and uh, saxophonist Gerald Albright. So he's well known around the community, around the state, and around the nation because he's, he has opened up for some notable acts. Okay, and well, we're Gail, glad to have him. Well, I mean, you got food, you got fun, you got friends. It's going to be a great event. Um, you girls, for your fashion is tight too. I'll tell you. <laughs> thank you, um, Anita. Thank you for your inspiring thank story. You, thank you. Um, really appreciate the words you being keep here. Biting. Yeah, Gail, nice to see you again. Thank you for what you do yes. for all of uh, all of uh, the lupus warriors out there. One more uh, thing, I just want to mention: the deadline to get your tickets is June the twenty sixth because we have to prepare, you know, the food and everything. All so right. June 26th, go online to our website, lupusarctalentshow.com. That's lupusarktalentshow.com, and you can get your tickets. You heard it come from the girl here. That's it. Now, when we come back, relationship counselor Charlie Simpson will join us. Why he says when dealing with heartbreak, you should not run from your emotions. Stay with us. You're watching Arkansas Style. You're watching Arkansas Style on KARK. Welcome back. Most of us at some point have had to deal with heartbreak, like a breakup or divorce, the loss of a loved one. But how do you deal with those feelings? Our good friend, relationship counselor, Charlie Simpson, is here to talk about just that and why you should not run from your emotions. All right, tough topic today, Charlie. Uh, what is the first step in facing heartbreak? We have to face it, Ugh. all those emotions. <laughs> and you know, when you're going through a heartbreak, you're basically just going through a grieving process. You're going through denial, there is some anger, there, you're bargaining, uh, you'll eventually go through uh, de depressive-like symptoms, and then you'll eventually get to acceptance. But we have to face each one of those emotions. And who wants to face darkness who wants to face depressive like symptoms or even anger and so oftentimes we just try to push them to the side and just push through not acknowledging that hurt or that pain and that can get us in a lot of trouble but it is okay to feel the sadness it's okay to feel the heartache and the pain in that and you know that's the biggest takeaway that i would want the audience to hear that it is okay to feel that Ugh, but what oh. happens if you get stuck? Oh. <laughs> you just get stuck in heartbreak. Once you become stuck, your body will respond. The more stuck you become, the more your body is going to feel whatever that feeling is. So, you know, if you're in that anger and you get stuck in the anger, the anger is just going to become bigger. Um, and then what typ typically happens is you try to found, find outlets to reduce, you know, that anger. And so you find yourself having to uh, you know, if you're relying on, on work to keep you busy and distracted, you find yourself working even harder, or if you resort to drugs or alcohol, you find yourself, you know, uh, turning toward those uh, entities a little bit more. Uh, but the overall objective is, what can I do to make sure that I don't become stuck in those stages? And if you do, to make sure that you can find someone that can help you become unstuck. 
All right, so we'll find somebody to help us. Are there other ways to help? Uh, the, the next one is a lot of self-care. Oh. A lot of self-care, a lot of uh, looking in the mirror and just being able to say, I have to prepare myself and, and focus on me. And that can come in a lot of different ways, just going out with friends, being able to exercise, you know, uh, uh, diet, uh, yoga, meditation, you know, anything that will help soothe the body and help it to relax during a heartache. Uh, but you do have to do a lot of self-care in order to make sure that you're prepared emotionally and mentally to face those emotions of heartbreak. It's incredible because yeah. love is such a wonderful feeling, yes, right? It is. And then right. it has this really opposite effect of so much pain. Which is why a lot of people do not like to take that risk of opening up, of lowering their guard down because they know what could be on the other side of that. And that's where a lot of trust is built. Trust is also uh, built in the grieving process as well because if we always just remember the fear and the hurt, we're going to continuously guard ourselves in relationships because we know what it's like to lower that guard and to experience that pain. So we do have to build a lot of trust that as you go through the grieving process, I can come through, get through it and be okay in the end with taking another risk and that's opening back up. <laughs> 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 or, or calling the ex back, please take me back. <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> I shouldn't make light of Dude, this. It's, it's a tough one. It Heartbreak. It's tough. Talking yes. to you, though, is very helpful. <laughs> you keep us on track. Um, thanks yeah. for this subject. This no is an problem. interesting one. Oh. No problem. All right. Uh, we've got your QR code on there. Uh, you can scan it and, on the screen, and Charlie will be happy to help, just as he always does. We'll be right back after this. You're watching Arkansas Style. You're watching Arkansas Style on KARK. Thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget to follow us on social media for behind the scenes footage and visit our website for clips of the show you may have missed or just want to rewatch for a second time. We will see you all again next time with love. Mwah. Thank you for watching Arkansas Style with Nicole Neiman. Furnishings provided by Hank's Fine Furniture. Sponsored in part by Count Porcula.